In this video, we want to look at the extra cardiac lesions caused by rheumatic fever. Okay, so the extra cardiac lesions caused by rheumatic fever is the topic for now. As you can see, we have the following polyarthritis, this one, polyarthritis, subcutaneous nodules, erythema marginatum, this one, rheumatic arteritis, that is this one. Let me put it here. Rheumatic arteritis, this one. Chorea minor, that is this one. Chorea minor, that is Sydenham's chorea or Saint Witsu's dance. This is Saint Witsu's dance. All these are caused because of what? Rheumatic fever. These are the extra cardiac lesions. Cardiac lesions are also there. It causes a lot of problems in the heart also. But here we are talking about the extra cardiac lesions. Shall we look into each one of these? First, let's start with polyarthritis. Okay. So, first of all, do you remember the antigen? The streptococcus will have antigen hyaluronidase, right? This will be very similar to Cyan, synovial fluid, correct? This is molecular mimicry cross reactive antigen. This much you already know from the previous video. Do you or don't you know? You have not seen any of the previous videos. You just came here directly, right? Okay, let me show you. Where are we guys? Ah, this one. You see, streptococcal antigen hyaluronic acid is very similar to the human antigen which is in synovial fluid. So, there is cross-reactivity or molecular mimicry. So, what will happen? When the <clears throat> person gets streptococcal infection, the body which our body makes antibodies and the antibodies will go and attack our own antigen which is in the synovial fluid. So, the person will get polyarthritis okay acute and painful inflammation of the synovial membrane migratory polyarthritis this is what you have to write okay migratory polyarthritis means pain and swelling will sub subside in one point and then it will get produced in another point another point so, there is no way you can relax. Today you want to go and tell the doctor I have knee pain. Tomorrow you will have to go and say I have elbow pain. Microscopic is so similar to the heart. Same thing, edema, fibrinoid changes, neutrophil infiltration, leons that are similar to ash of body, serous effusion. That is the only thing that is new. Similar to ash of bodies, but they are not calling it as ash of bodies. Similar to ash of bodies. Shall we move to the next one? Subcutaneous nodules. Uh, the subcutaneous nodules occur more often in children. The nodules are 0.5 to 2 centimeter in diameter. 0.5 to 2 centimeter in diameter. They are spherical or ovoid or painless. The spherical or ovoid, spherical or ovoid. They are painless. That's really nice, right? When they are painless, why bother at all? Nah. They are painless. They are attached to deeper structures like tendons, ligaments, fascia, periosteum and therefore they remain unnoticed by the patient. They are attached to deeper structures. So they are unnoticed by the patient. Characteristic locations are extensor surfaces of the wrist, elbow, ankles, knees. Okay, the joints, right? Wrist, elbows, ankles, knees. Wrists, elbows, ankles, knees. You remember the song? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Something like that. Wrist, elbow, ankle, knees, ankle, knees. Okay. Histologically, the subcutaneous nodules of rheumatic fever are representative of giant ash of bodies in the heart. Okay, they contain three distinct zones histologically. These are nothing but the 
they are they are histologically similar to the ash of nodules right similar they are actually representative they are representative of the giant ash of bodies as of bodies the spelling you should not forget a s c h o f f a h a s c h o f f a s c h o f f as of bodies there are three zones central fibrinoid zone of histolysis then you have let me go like the central fibrinoid then you have histiocytes then you have histiocytes and fibro blasts then you have outermost you have connective tissue which is infiltrated by the inflammatory cells and blood vessels inflammatory okay so here the key is painless this word is very important guys patient to won't even notice them <coughs> shall we move on so we have covered uh, polyarthritis subcutaneous nodules now let us go to erythema marginatum just note that this